Hi there programmers, it's Mr. Baumgarten here with another programming quick tip. Today I want to look at integer division and the modulus operator. Something that I find beginner programmers get quite confused about in terms of what exactly is going on. They know the modulus has something to do with division, that they're related somehow, but what exactly it's doing can sometimes be a bit of a mystery. And so when this happens, Sometimes the best thing to do is just to experiment and print a whole bunch of informa information using the operator or using whatever instruction it is we're trying to figure out and see if we can work out what the pattern is as to what it is doing. So I'm going to quickly print the, this out in a moment and go through it. But we can see here I've got one slash style of division. I've got the two slash style of division. And then I've got the percent sign, which uh, is known as the modulus operator in programming. And I've got, uh, so I'm dividing by five and I've got the numbers zero through to 15 happening across all three types of operations. So let's see exactly what's going on with them, shall we? I hit run. Okay, so the first one, first column, the one slash, this is the type of division that you would normally get on a calculator. So zero divided by five is zero, one divided by five is 0.2, two divided by five is 0.4 and so on. The second column with the double slash uh, truncates off, chops off the decimal portion. It just tells us how many fives go into that number. So how many fives go into four? Zero. How many fives go into one? One. How many fives go into six? One. How many fives go into nine? One. How many fives go into ten? Two. And then through to fifteen. The modulus tells us how far off being evenly divided by five, that was. Uh, in primary school or elementary school, you might have called this the remainder. And it's quite useful in a number of different programming contexts. So if, you, if you're if you wanting to know, is this number divisible by five? You can just look to see, use the modulus operator on it, right, and see ooh, when the modulus equals zero, I know that the number is evenly div divisible by five. All right, 10 modulus 5 also gave us 0, 15 modulus 5 gives us 0. So it's very useful to tell if a number is divisible by another number. It's also very useful when you're converting between strange units, uh, units uh, that are not metric based. So for instance, if I had 10 days and I wanted to know how many weeks and how many days that was, right, if I print out 10 division, uh, integer division 7, and then if I print out 10 modulus 7 and run that, all right, that will tell me that 10 days is one week and three leftover days. And the same happens if we're converting between hours and minutes and or months and, uh, and you know, whatever kind of odd number of based unit system you're wanting to work with. Uh, the integer division and the modulus operated together work very well for com converting those units as well. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. All right, just print a whole bunch of values and see what the pattern is and um, these things tend to become a little more clear. This is Mr. Baumgarten signing out.